Sorry about the scary intro. I love pulling a prank or two in my time. So the momentum has carried. I'm now on my second blog after I said I was going to continue the series, maybe. And looks like doing another video. So. I was browsing through some of the comments. I saw a comment that didn't get a lot of attention, but I thought it was a good, a good topic to talk about. Her topic was, she told me to talk about my first experience finding out Santa was not real. <laughs> now those of you that don't live under a rock, you know Santa is coming to town soon. I assume everyone knows what Christmas is. It's basically a religious tradition celebrated, but man, I can't even believe I'm fucking explaining this. Now, growing up, me, Jay, and Bo, we loved Christmas. Not only the gifts, but like, yeah, it was basically the gifts. I celebrated Christmas every year without a doubt. From the age of about three to six, seven, I don't think I ever questioned if Santa was real or not. My mom had told me that Santa was real, and why would an adult lie to a kid about a mystical man, like, that's kind of fucked up. Adults teach you not to lie, and then they lie to you for the first 10 years of your life. So growing up, I did believe in Santa until about eight or nine, maybe even 10, yeah. I was more in denial of the fact that the older we got, the more kids went on Team No Santa. Any kid growing up believed in Santa left milk and cookies out, and turns out your parents were just snacking on them. I never found out that Santa wasn't real on the spot. It was kind of like a grown transition in, into a young adult. Is a tooth fairy real? That's just another lie, by the way. So in the future, would I tell my children about Santa Claus? I mean, do I really want to look my son in the eye at 10 years old and tell him he's been living a lie? Like, I haven't lost respect for my mum, but that's kind of fucked up to lie to me about a fat man coming down my chimney, eating my fucking food, leaving a gift or two, using the same wrapping paper as my mum, fucking park his reindeers on the roof of our house. I mean, obviously one day we're gonna grow up and say, mum, cut the Santa shit. I know it's you packing the stockings. I'm not a little fuckhead anymore. I know you wrapped that bike. I saw you last night. Look, mum. Do you really think you need to eat those cookies? I think you're a bit on the overweight side these days. In conclusion, I think I stopped believing Santa at the age of 9, 10. I was in denial until about 8, 9, 10. Other snotty-nosed kids were telling me that Santa wasn't real. I was like, yeah, go fuck yourself, mate. My mum's not lying to me. She wouldn't do that. But thanks for watching, guys. I am back. Look at that. I think it's a Kim Instagram photo. Stay tuned. Leave a comment in the description what you want me to talk about. That was my first time finding out Santa was not real. And see you next time. She waited in the dragon's keep, in the highest room of the tallest tower, for her true love and true love's first kiss. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. It's Maylick. Welcome to my new location. A bit of nothing in the background, a bit of something over here.